Welcome to this video about preventing and controlling cockroaches in homes, including houses and apartments. This video will provide important information about cockroaches, how to tell if you may have cockroaches, how to prevent bringing cockroaches home, and what you can do to safely and effectively control them. This video was produced by the University of Minnesota with a grant from the United States Environmental Protection Agency with help from the Karen Organization of Minnesota, Minnesota Department of Agriculture, and Minnesota Department of Health. In this video, we will discuss four species of cockroaches commonly infesting homes in North America, including what they look like and how they may get into your home. We will talk about how to control these insects and steps you can take to avoid future infestations. By following these simple steps, you can effectively get rid of cockroaches if you already have them or prevent infestations in the first place. Controlling and preventing cockroaches requires a team of people, including yourself, your landlord, and a pest management professional. By reporting cockroaches as soon as they are found, steps can be taken to quickly reduce their numbers and prevent further spread. By properly preparing your home for treatment, you can make sure this treatment will be successful. There are some key steps that you can follow to prevent getting cockroaches in the first place. This includes keeping food sealed in containers, regularly removing trash from your home, and cleaning up food spills and dirty dishes. This video will provide other information that will help you keep your home cockroach free. This video will help you Recognize the four common species of cockroach and why they are a problem. Take the necessary steps if you think you may have cockroaches. Prevent these insects from getting into your home. And understand how to safely control an infestation. Let's start with showing you what cockroaches are and why they are such a problem. Cockroaches are an insect that can feed on many things and have adapted well to living close to people and in our homes. Cockroaches are thin, flattened insects that can move very fast and hide in quiet areas of the home where they are unlikely to be seen until they have made a large infestation. Cockroaches eat the food we typically eat and will eat leftovers and food thrown in the garbage or left on the counter. Cockroaches also need water on a regular basis, so leaking faucets, drains, or water spills will help them survive. There are four types of cockroach that we see in homes. Knowing what type of cockroach is in your home will help us know where they came from and how to get rid of them. The German cockroach is the most common type of cockroach we find in homes, particularly in apartment buildings. German cockroaches may also be called roaches or water bugs, and your landlord may not know that the right name is German cockroach. These cockroaches are brown and black. The color pattern will depend on their age. Adult cockroaches are mainly brown with two dark stripes behind their head. In size, the adults are about 5 eighths of an inch long. Younger cockroaches will be smaller. Younger German cockroaches will be dark in color with either a light brown spot on the back or a light brown stripe that is in the center of the body running from head to abdomen. Female cockroaches carry an egg case that they fill with eggs and eventually drop once the eggs are about to hatch. This insect will usually be found in kitchens and bathrooms. They prefer places where there is warmth and moisture. As the infestation becomes larger, they will spread to other parts of the home including laundry areas, the pantry, and other living spaces. American cockroaches are less common than German cockroaches, but can still infest homes. This insect is also called water bugs or palmetto bugs. American cockroaches are much larger than German cockroaches, and the adults can be up to 1.5 to 2 inches long. American cockroaches are reddish-brown, and the adults will have tan patches behind the head. These cockroaches are less likely to be in living spaces, but we'll see cooler and quieter areas like basements, crawl spaces, and other places closer to the ground. They usually come into a building from surrounding areas, including the landscape, via a sewer line or other utility line. In the southern United States, this species of cockroach can be found living outdoors. Oriental cockroaches are very dark in color, and the adults are almost black. Young oriental cockroaches are reddish brown and can be mistaken for young American cockroaches. Oriental cockroaches are a little smaller than the American cockroach. Adults are about one inch long. 
Oriental cockroaches are often found outdoors around a building, but will come inside a building when their numbers outside begin to grow, or there is a disturbance around the outside of a building, such as lawn mowing or thinning of a garden or heavy rainfall. In the southern United States, this species of cockroach can be regularly found living outdoors. Brown banded cockroaches are very similar to German cockroaches and they may easily be mistaken for German cockroaches. They are about the same size as the German cockroach, about 5 eighths of an inch long. However, brown banded cockroaches look different and have tan or light brown stripes across the body. They do not have the stripes that go along the body. Brown banded cockroaches like drier areas and are usually found in living areas of the home, such as the pantry, living room, and bedrooms. The female does not carry her eggs like the German cockroach, but will glue the egg cases onto objects such as furniture. Bringing these infested items into a home is often the way an infestation starts. Cockroaches are a problem because they can make you and your family sick. Cockroaches can carry bacteria and when they walk across food, these bacteria can get on the food. The bacteria in the food may cause foodborne illness. If the infestation gets really big, the skin shed by cockroaches can build up and cause allergies or asthma. In big infestations, cockroaches may walk across sleeping people and cause rashes and other problems. Controlling cockroaches and cleaning up cockroach waste reduces allergies and asthma. The two most common ways for cockroaches to get into a home are in personal belongings or furniture, or by crawling from a nearby infestation related to another apartment, the landscape, or city utility lines such as sewer, phone, or electric lines. A lot of times, the source of the infestation will depend on the type of home you live in. If you live in a house, chances are that you may have carried them into the house or they came from the surrounding landscape or city utilities. We can get further clues as to the possible source by knowing the cockroach species. For example, German cockroaches and brown banded cockroaches may have been carried into the house on personal belongings or perhaps a piece of furniture. These cockroaches may hitchhike from work, especially if you store your stuff in a locker room, or they may hitchhike on boxes or paper bags from a store. American and Oriental cockroaches may be living in the landscape and find cracks and crevices that lead into your home. American cockroaches may enter your home from the sewer line, especially when air gaps form in drains connected to the city's sewer lines. In apartments, cockroaches may get into the building the same way they get into houses. But, once in the building, they can spread to other apartments. If cockroach control is only done when someone complains, then cockroaches that have moved to other apartments and haven't been seen will continue infesting the building. It may be hard to control cockroaches in an apartment building because there are many hiding places and there may be more things that help cockroaches live, like water and trash. There are six easy steps you can take to prevent cockroaches from getting into your home. The steps you take will depend on what type of home you live in. It also depends upon whether you have had to deal with a previous cockroach infestation or you simply want to avoid getting cockroaches. Check for plumbing leaks and dripping taps. Getting water is important for cockroaches. A cockroach may be able to survive for a week or more without food, but will survive only two to three days without water. Watch for water leaks, dripping taps, and condensation. Even a very small amount of water is enough for cockroaches. For example, water soaking into wood cabinets will provide enough water for cockroaches to survive. Try to keep areas dry. Get water issues fixed, or if you rent your apartment, ask the landlord to stop the leaks. The less water available, the less likely you are to have problems with cockroaches. Clean up spilled food and dirty dishes. Use sealed containers to store food. Cockroaches need food. Food that is easy to get to will help cockroaches remain hidden and allow the infestation to grow. Food that has been spilled and not cleaned up, dirty dishes left on the counter, and food that is not wrapped in plastic or put into a sealed container all give cockroaches an easy meal. Keep your home free of trash and clutter. 
Empty your trash cans often. Do not keep recyclables in your home for a long time. This will help keep cockroaches out of your home by reducing hiding places and food for the cockroaches. Seal the places where cockroaches can enter your home. This is really important if you rent an apartment. Cockroaches can move along plumbing and wiring to find gaps and entry points into your home. Properly sealing the gaps will make it more difficult for cockroaches to get into your home. Cockroaches can also come in under doors. Installing a brush seal will help reduce this movement. If your home has floor drains and they are not used often, make sure that the odor traps have enough water in them by pouring a gallon or so of water into the drain. There are some cockroaches that will glue their egg cases to furniture and other things. If infested items are brought into your home, you could bring cockroaches as well. Furniture is especially risky if it has been stored in cool basement areas, near exterior walls, or the furniture is used and has been placed on the curb. Furniture on the curb is also a common way to get bedbugs. Check furniture and articles you may bring into the house that have been stored like this. Place sticky traps in your home and regularly check them for cockroaches. Sticky traps help you see if there are hidden infestations. Placing sticky traps in areas where cockroaches will commonly hide will often be the best way to see if cockroaches have moved in. Common places to set traps include in the kitchen behind the stove, under the kitchen sink, and in cabinets. In the bathroom, traps can be placed behind the toilet and under the sink. Traps may also be placed in other areas of your home, but because they are very sticky, make sure they are out of reach of children. The most important thing you can do to control cockroaches is to follow the prevention steps we discussed earlier. If you do get cockroaches in your home, they can be controlled with insecticides. The key to killing cockroaches is an in-depth treatment. All of the places where cockroaches may be hiding need to be treated. Insecticides are used to control cockroaches. Both baits and sprays are used. Depending on how big the infestation is and where it is, one or both types of insecticides may be used. As you are killing the cockroaches, it is very important to clean up any dead cockroaches and cockroach poop. This makes it easier to treat and more difficult for new cockroaches to infest your home. Also, dead insects, cockroach feces, and old cockroach skins provide a source of allergens that can make people sick. Using a vacuum with a HEPA filter is the best way to remove an old infestation. When you find an infestation, it is important to report it to the landlord if you rent your home. If you own your home, you should call a pest management professional. If you own your home, you can control cockroaches yourself, but you have to be very thorough and carefully follow the directions on any insecticide that you use. For the rest of this video, we will assume that you live in a rental apartment. The steps we will discuss for cockroach control will be for apartments. The first step is to report the infestation to your landlord. Make sure they understand the problem and mention where in the apartment you found the insects. The landlord should give you an idea of when they will have someone available to look at the problem. More importantly, they should provide you with instructions about how to prepare your home for treatment. Preparing your home for controlling cockroaches involves moving food, dishes, toys, and other items that shouldn't be treated with an insecticide away from areas where treatments will be applied. This usually includes kitchen and bathroom cabinets, dining areas, areas where the garbage can is located, utility areas, and by the door. Depending on the size of the infestation, it may also require that you look at other areas near the kitchen, bathroom, and utility area. With larger infestations, treatment is sometimes required in bedrooms and living rooms as well. Moving goods and dishes away from these areas ensures a thorough treatment. Any surviving cockroaches or new cockroaches exploring the area will come into contact with the spray residue or the bait. We do not want to treat dishes, toys, and food containers because they will either have to be thoroughly washed or thrown out for your safety. Depending on the species of cockroach, other steps may be important. Location of treatment will depend on the type of cockroach and where they were found. Storage areas should also be inspected and treated, if necessary, at the same time an apartment is treated. 
After the treatment, additional sticky traps should be placed to ensure that there are no more cockroaches. Your apartment may have a follow-up inspection and treatment if new cockroaches are found. Make sure you follow the six steps for preventing cockroaches. This is the best way to avoid infestations and to find any cockroaches in your home. If you do get cockroaches, make sure you properly prepare your home for a safe and thorough treatment. If you rent your home, report the problem to your landlord and make sure they provide a date for control and instructions on how to prepare the apartment. If you own your home and decide to control the infestation yourself, make sure you read and understand the instructions on the insecticide label. Use only products that you buy from a store and check that the product has an EPA registration number. The product must have a label that shows these words. EPA register number and says on the label that it can be used for control of cockroaches. Any other products will not kill cockroaches. It is dangerous to use mothballs or pesticides not labeled for cockroaches. Do not try to kill cockroaches by using agricultural or garden pesticides. Using outdoor pesticides to control cockroaches can make you or your family very sick. Do not use products that appear to be homemade or custom formulated. Homemade products can be dangerous. Do not use products that have labels in a non-English language. If you still have cockroaches after a treatment, there are a couple questions that you can ask. Is it too soon after a treatment? Sometimes treatments require a week or so to show results. Follow-up may be required. If you are still seeing cockroaches after a week, make sure you follow up with your landlord, the pest management company, or re-inspect the area if you controlled them yourself. Was the control treatment thorough enough? Most times, the problem is that the size of the infestation was underestimated. Really understanding the size of the infestation is important. The infestation may have spread to another room, or the source may have been a storage area. In apartments, neighboring units should be inspected for cockroach activity. Did you bring in a new infestation? Sometimes, cockroaches infest locker rooms or desks where you work, stores where you shop, schools that your kids attend, buses you may use, or many other places. If you suspect cockroaches in these areas, keep items you take there stored in plastic bags either at these sites or when you bring items home. Most of these areas away from your home have pest management programs of their own, but sometimes cockroaches will start infestations unnoticed. Report cockroach infestations when you see them. Avoid high-risk activities such as picking up furniture, appliances, and electronics off the curb. In this video, you have learned about the different cockroaches and how they start an infestation in your home. Cockroaches are common in many places, but they can be prevented and controlled. The best thing to do is to prevent an infestation before it starts. Check for leaks and drips. Clean up spilled food and dirty dishes. Keep your home free of trash and clutter. Seal the places where cockroaches can enter your home. Be careful with the things you bring into your home. Place sticky traps to monitor for cockroaches. If you think that you have cockroaches, you can look closely at cracks and crevices in the kitchen, bathroom, and utility area. Look into cabinets under the sink, behind the stove, under the fridge, and under cabinets. If you are still uncertain, make sure that you get someone who is experienced in cockroach inspections to search for hidden infestations. If you have a cockroach problem, it is important that you seek help from your landlord or a pest control professional. In most states, landlords are responsible for ensuring that rental properties are free of infestation. To properly control a cockroach infestation requires an inspection, proper preparation of the home, insecticide treatment, removal of dead cockroaches and cockroach feces. If the home is properly prepared and the control treatment is thorough, there is a good chance that you will eliminate cockroaches from your home. 
Cockroaches can happen to anyone. Don't be ashamed if you have them. Effective controls and prevention measures are available that will help you keep cockroaches out of your home. For questions, call your landlord, the Karen Organization of Minnesota, or the community organization assisting you.